The German wind industry says it has definitive proof that the fossil fuel industry are joining together to try to prevent wind energy from basically getting rid of coal power, of gas. Here's what's happening in Germany, and here's why this needs to be taken very seriously, or at least looked at by authorities. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And this is this is actually happening, unfortunately, in many places worldwide in a, a variety of different ways. Unfortunately, the German wind industry has decried sabotage as wind turbines are being blocked by autobahns. So what is actually happening? Is this intentional? Absolutely, it's intentional. I mean, block by autobahns, meaning uh, there's more going on here. Who owns the autobahns? Well, if you actually do some research here, you'll find that they're owned by fossil fuel interests, not entirely, but at least in part. Germany's wind industry has accused the operator of the country's motorways of sabotaging the rollout of wind turbines, which are key to reaching climate targets. Now, to be fair, this is not just the wind industry claiming this, it's also EV charging. The EV charging companies have taken the owner of the motorways to court and the owner of the motorways has lost. It's been proven. They've intentionally tried fossil fuel. Obviously here is very much involved. Gasoline stations, petrol stations, uh, and their parent companies have tried to prevent the rollout of EV chargers along German motorways, German autobahns. What has happened is this has apparently gone to court and it has been proven this has been intentional. The German government is trying to uh, change the rules to enforce new regulations, meaning that this can't continue to happen. Well, they've said, all right, all right, we admit defeat, but we, we can at least try and stop the wind. So this means that Germany's wind industry are now saying the operator of the country's motorways are sabotaging the rollout of wind turbines, which are very, very vital to Germany reaching its climate targets. The government owned company, which is all the more crazy about this, Autobahn GmbH refused the permits necessary for the transport of large wind turbine parts without justification across the board causing havoc at wind farm construction sites, says reneweconomy.com.au. This is according to the head of Germany's Wind Power Industry Association, BWE, in an op-ed for climate and energy newsletter, Tap Spiegel Background. Now, I'm sure I didn't pronounce that correctly. Sorry, Germans. The lack of permitting stops the realization of projects that have already been awarded a contract and causes a standstill in the logistics chain said Axel Elm, adding that the situation was caused by the boundless failure of the company, making it the situation just untenable. Now, the same thing, unfortunately, is happening to what Tesla in the rollout of obviously trying to build more EVs. Uh, the same thing has happened to the solar industry. In fact, it's even worse for solar. There is so many billions of dollars of permits, permitting problems, apparently, holding up the deployment of massive amounts of solar in Germany. The otherwise good performance of the coalition in the expansion of renewables is intentionally being sabotaged, say the wind industry. About 20,000 transport permit applications are currently pending, 20,000, with processing times ranging from 2 to 14 weeks, say the lobby group. The government-owned Autobahn GmbH heads planning, construction, maintenance and operation, as well as financing of the motorways, and is overseen by the transport ministry. But apparently there's a lot of fossil fuel industry lobbying going on. And that's where the source of the problem probably lies. Now, apparently the transport ministry is telling uh, the wind industry that they should simply use waterways to transport their wind turbines. They can't actually use freeways, uh, autobahns to move their turbines. They've got to use waterways to do it. That is just utterly ridiculous. The wind industry have called upon Transport Minister Volking Wissing of the pro-business free Democrats to no longer ignore the despairing situation. More than 30,000 transport permits will have to be granted per year in the future if Germany is to achieve its targets for the rollout of wind power, according to the BWE. 
Unfortunately, uh, fossil fuel interests, even the interest of automotive companies, such as unfortunately the Volkswagen Group, who, who have lobbied against Tesla permits, getting in the way of positive progress across much of Europe, but in particular lately, more so in Germany. In Germany, it's gotten worse. The holdup of permits has become chronic. Other countries in Europe apparently are like laughing at Germany, saying, look what's happening in Germany. They're ridiculous. They're a bunch of Muppets. They've got all these great plans, but they're stopping themselves from delivering them because of, well, permits. Now, who is making all of this so difficult? Well, I think it's pretty easy to see. It's the fossil fuel industry primarily, or the internal combustion industry, or both of them. They're one and the same thing. I think they are. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.